Welcome back, you guys. So today we are talking about our great ancestor, Claudia Jones. Yes, the first female to my YouTube channel. So Claudia was born February 21st, 1915 in Belmont, Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. When she was eight years old, her family immigrated to New York City following the post-war coca price crash in Trinidad. Claudia joined the Young Communist League in 1936 after hearing about the Communist Party's defense in the Scottsboro Boys. She went on to work at the YCL newspaper, later becoming a state education director and chairman for the YCL. As an activist, she went above and beyond fighting for the rights for her beliefs as a feminist, journalist, and black rights campaigner. Living as a lower class black woman in a Jim Crow era in America, it spurred her radical activist spirit. She wrote for the legal defense of the Scottsboro Boys. Claudia used her position in the Communist Party to campaign for the rights of her fellow black Americans, especially women. Despite being academically bright, being classed as an immigrant limited her career choices. Instead of going to college, she began to work at a laundromat. During this time, she joined a drama group and began to write a column called Claudia's Comments for a Harlem Journal. As a member of the Communist Party USA and Black Nationalists and Feminists, Claudia mainly focused on creating an anti-imperialistic coalition managed by working class leadership fueled by the involvement of women. She campaigned for job training programs, equal pay for equal work, government control on food prices, and funding for wartime childcare programs. Claudia's best known piece of writing, An End to the Neglect of the Problems of the Negro Woman, appeared in 1949 in the magazine Political Affairs. It exhibits her development of what later came to be termed intersectional analysis within the Marxist framework. As a result of her membership in the Communist Party USA and various associated activities, in 1948 she was arrested and sentenced to the first of four spells in prison. She was threatened with deportation to Trinidad. She was found in violation of being a non-citizen who had joined the Communist Party. Multiple people testified to her role in the party's activities. She was deported to the United Kingdom. Once there, she continued with her activist spirit and started fighting for the West Indian community in London. She founded the West Indian Gazette, which was the first major black newspaper in London. After protesting against police violence in certain areas in England, including Notting Hill, Claudia held the first carnival celebration, which would be the precursor to the very famous Notting Hill Carnival. Claudia died on Christmas Eve 1964 at the age of 49. A post-mortem declared that she suffered from a massive heart attack due to heart disease and tuberculosis. So you guys, with that being said, thank you for this little journey that we just went on looking at a very brief and quick overview of Claudia Jones's life. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so we can continue looking at our ancestors and their journey to greatness.